Now, an attempt to send replacement crew to the International Space Station to relieve two U.S. astronauts who've been stranded there since June has been postponed. An issue with the launch pad prompted officials at Cape Canaveral in Florida to cancel the SpaceX flight only minutes before it was due to blast off. Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams arrived at the ISS for an eight-day mission in the summer, but were unable to return after their spacecraft developed problems. So across all of this is our science editor, Rebecca Morrell. So uh, what happened with this launch that was meant to go up to bring them down? Yeah, I mean, it has been a bit of a saga, but it's not that unusual for rockets to be delayed. And it wasn't actually a problem with the rockets. It was a problem with the ground based system that launches the rocket. So the launch was delayed. The NASA officials took the decision to do that. And it now looks like it's probably going to be Friday um, late in the evening UK time when it goes up. But as you say, Butch and Sonny, you know, they were supposed to be on there for just over a week and they've been there for more than nine months already. But actually a few more days isn't going to make much difference. And once the rocket, well, it's important, it's actually carrying the replacement crew for Butch and Sonny. So when the astronauts, the four astronauts who are going to eventually go up, when they finally do arrive, there'll be a brief handover and then Butch and Sonny can come home. They can return to Earth. And that'll probably be on Wednesday if it goes up on Friday. But so many ifs. It's, uh, yeah, it's a movable feast. <laughs> it, it, well, it, it's, it's complicated, isn't it? And that's the uh, understatement of the century. Uh, we talk about them, these two, being stranded. Now, I remember when, when they first went up and were meant to come back but didn't, Someone said to me, look, don't describe them as being stranded. These are highly trained. They know the risks. And so stranded is arguably totally the wrong word to use. Yeah, I mean, I think it's because stranded implies they've got no way of getting home. And that actually isn't the case because the way the space station works, the spacecraft that sort of travel to the space station then come back again, they actually stay parked on the space station. So it always means that there's essentially a lifeboat to carry astronauts back to Earth should they ever need to come back to Earth in an emergency, for example. It's just that NASA took the decision. So, I mean, there is a bit of backstory to this, but basically the spacecraft that Butch and Sonny traveled to the International Space Station on, it was a prototype spacecraft, it developed problems. NASA decided it wasn't safe enough to bring them back. So it came back to Earth empty, that left them without a ride home. So NASA's decision was to incorporate them into the next scheduled flight. That flight arrived in September. It's actually been attached, the spacecraft, the SpaceX spacecraft has been attached to the space station since September. But what they decided to do was to incorporate Butch and Sonny into that mission because that spacecraft was always going to stay docked until now for the return home. So it's slightly complicated. And what they're waiting for now is a replacement crew so they can they can come home. So actually their lift home has been attached to the space station since September. It's just the crew exchange isn't happening until now. It's a lot of complicated scheduling on the on the space station. It's um yeah, it's done years in advance. So actually having two extra people there takes a lot of rejigging. God, and just to like, again, <laughs> understatement of the year, it's complicated, but it's like when you, your crew, and when you get a flight, they're, they're, they've overworked their hours and they can't then fly <laughs> again. Uh, Rebecca, as always, thank you very much for bringing that to us. And uh, hopefully when that swap over, when that launch does happen, you'll be back for more on that. Rebecca Morell, our science editor, thank you so much.